welcome to this week's Stalking the Wild Auto Harp. And this week we're going to talk about how to practice. Folks, it's an auto harp. It's not, it's not a concert piano. It's not a violin. It's not going to take five hours locked in the bathroom playing every day for the rest of your life in order to get good. And we want to have fun when we practice. So that is my number one thing that I stress with my students. You see, I teach a lot of lessons online to people through Skype. Um, and um, I'm always telling them, look, folks, we're adults. We're playing. It's an auto harp. And um, we want to have a relaxed, fun experience in playing no matter where, what level we're at. Um, and um, a lot of times people get all hung up on, you know, oh, I'm not good yet, or I'm not, you know, progressing fast enough. Relax, sit back on the porch, have a soda, have a beer, enjoy your harp and play some songs and um, just enjoy where you're at at the level that you're at. Um, when I work with my students, I tell them, first of all, yes, play every day if you can. And it's frequent that people come on and they, they you know, after a week, and they say, you know, I didn't get to it that much. Big deal. It's okay. You know, we're adults, we have busy lives. Um, but if you can set aside 10 minutes of leisure time every day, 15 minutes, half an hour, even better. So that always remains consistent. But here's, here's the way I talk about practice time. It should be divided up. And to teach this, I use the different halves of the screen. And we talk about this half over here being the woodshed. This is the discipline shed. And then we talk about where you go out to play. Okay, so in the discipline shed, that's where dad takes you to, or mom takes you to put some discipline into you, and then turns you loose so that you can go out and play well with others, or play well by yourself. But the point is, is that the discipline part, we want to minimize that, right? And um, that's always the hardest part of practicing. That's where you're playing exercises or scale patterns or you're playing uh, strum patterns and trying to really master that and focus on that. I say don't do that more than about five, ten minutes. That's right. Get out of that woodshed. Get on to happy time, fun time. Get out your songs that you want to play go through their chords, strum out, play out, whatever it is that you want to learn, that you're working on, that gives you a thrill. That's your practice time together with the, the woodshed time. And let me tell you how that works. I say 20% woodshed time, 80% fun time, okay? That way, you're going to be having so much fun that you're not going to be noticing that it's hard work learning the auto harp, okay? And so, in the woodshed, 20%. Out of the woodshed, 80%. Here's why, and here's how it works. Learning anything like the auto harp, it's about muscle memory. And we get muscle memory from working our muscles in a certain way over and over again. But if we focus on it for too long, we get too overly focused on it, and then we start messing up. We start getting tangled in our own strings. Okay, So it's good to blow out the sluices and go out and play and have a good time. And then, if you want to come back to the woodshed and work more on some of the disciplines that you're working for, great. And then go out and play again. You know, so that you're not always hyper focused on discipline and structure and sticking to the page. Instead, let it happen. And let me tell you what's going to happen. You're going to be having fun one day and you're going to be playing your song and going along and da 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 da. And you're going to be thinking about what's the next verse 
or um, uh, what song to play next or something like that. And then you're going to look down and realize that your hands are doing what they were doing over here in the woodshed because you're not paying attention and your muscle memory is kicking in and that's exactly how I want you to learn how to play is through applying it work it and then forget it forget about it bring it over here and just play and see if it doesn't start sneaking in how often has that happened to you I bet it has happened see it's like riding a bike if you are thinking about your motions while you ride that bike, you can't do it, can you? It's when you start looking around and going, oh, there's Mr. Wilson, and there's, you know, there's, you know, then you realize, hey, I'm not paying attention and I'm cruising right along. I also talk about learning a stick shift. If you drive a stick, maybe you've had this experience. As long as you were focused on it, you couldn't do it, but then, came that day where you were driving along for 10 minutes and you realized I haven't thought about my shifting once and I've been doing it great. That's when you've learned it. When you're not thinking about it. So practice, yes, for 10 minutes in the woodshed and then come out and play for however long you want. And if you want, go back in. Yeah, that's great. But keep that balance and keep having fun because this is a fun instrument to play and it's not a lot of work okay so um, the other thing I wanted to mention is finger practice where you are working along and you know you're you're practicing you know maybe you're practicing in the woodshed great okay but what what if you don't have your harp what if you're standing in line somewhere or what if you're driving what if you notice there's music playing? Wow, that music has a rhythm that I can do this to. So you find yourself kind of jamming along like this while you're driving the car. Keep one hand on the wheel. Or maybe you're standing in line at the, at the supermarket, you know, or, you know, you're uh, watching TV, you know, and the theme song comes on. So do this, you know, on your thigh, on your chest, you know, you can keep that rhythm and go along in rhythm and continue to work on that pattern that you've been working on in the woodshed but you're applying it in real life you just don't have your heart so continue to work on your finger patterns too okay that is a real brief lesson on the way I teach and the way I teach practice is it's it's more relaxed than being super disciplined about it it's about having fun slipping in a little bit of the uh, the discipline when you least expect it and when you know for a short period of time and then having a great time with it so um, if you are new to stalking the wild auto harp I recommend that you subscribe to this channel because I'm putting them out every week now folks and there's we're approaching number 50 in like three episodes I think this is number 48 today um, and if you subscribe, you'll get notification when I put up a new one. And so you won't miss any of the fun. If you have been watching Stalking the Wild Auto Heart for a while, and maybe you learned a little thing or two or three, and you want to tip me, because I haven't made a dime off of these, if you wanted to contribute and become a driving factor, behind where this is all going and it's going some interesting places very soon let me tell you I've got some plans if you are interested in being a contributor I have a patreon page patreon is where creative people go to get paid and I have one set up over there patreon.com slash Hal Weeks you go over there you can kick in a buck a month five bucks a month ten bucks a month twenty bucks a month and that will really help me to do this because this is how I make my living teaching the auto harp through YouTube for free and 
through my private lessons. If you're interested in private lessons, howweeks.com. That's where you want to go, howweeks.com, because I've got all my information about my private lessons that you can schedule with me, yours truly, and we can one-on-one -on -one through Skype or Google Hangouts or something like that, and we can get you going right where you are. So until next time, we'll see if I can play this tune again. I hadn't played it in years, and I just started playing it at the beginning of this video. It's like, uh-oh, can I get through it? Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.